It seems like a great idea that everyone wants to support. But the HEROES program is still a long way from becoming a reality. Despite the growing pains, the group behind the program remains committed to the life-saving program. You may have seen this yellow truck roaming around in our city. It's designed to bring attention to help fund the Helicopter Emergency Rescue Operations Society. HEROES. The goal is to create an airborne medical team to respond to life-threatening incidences. And that's what we've always been trying to do is how do we make sure that this never has to happen again? That a life isn't lost because of time. And, and, and you know, doctors and, and medical personnel forever have been talking about that golden hour. How do we make sure that the proper medical services are provided to those individuals before that time frame is up? The program is based on the STARS program in other provinces. If HEROES is to take flight, it would cover a large radius surrounding Prince George. Uh, it would encompass all the, the current mine uh, north of Fort St. James, uh, all of that whole area, Tackle Lake, uh, Tseke, Guadacha, up on the Williston Lake, uh, those places there that, uh, that are dealing with tragic instances. And for them, a ground ambulance is seven hours. The Hero Society's built key relationships with the health community, but have fallen short with funding. Right now what we're doing is we are pleading and asking corporations that are in business in BC and coming to BC because of the economic growth to partner with us. Uh, Heroes is going to be based on funding from uh, generous companies and uh, residents of northern BC. To get the program off the ground today, it would take over a million dollars and another four million to sustain itself. According to Heroes, each year in BC, 7,500 people die outside of the hospitals of unnatural causes. Dave Branco, CKPG News.